welcome to our new crib. Before we get started on this actual apartment tour, a little breakdown of why we moved um, because I feel like a lot of people were asking um, if you didn't see one of my latest videos where I explained it, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, so basically our old apartment just had a lot of maintenance issues and it had mold, specifically in our bedroom. So we were dying of allergies 24 seven and like we just couldn't live like that anymore. So we decided when the year, cause we only leased for a year, do that everywhere you go because you never know. <laughs> how long you're really gonna wanna be somewhere. So thank God we leased for only a year. So when, like we figured mid year, must have been like July, August, around there, like we knew we weren't gonna like live there anymore. So basically in August, we figured we weren't gonna wanna live in that apartment anymore. So we started looking at other places. We came across this one. We saw a couple others, but we really liked this one. So we came, we toured it, like I think it was in September. In October, one became available, which was the exact floor building and everything we wanted, the same model that we saw. So we put a deposit down right away so it can be held for us. And our move-in date was January 4th. Um, and our lease ended in the old place January 16th, even though we weren't living there till the 16th because we officially had our first night's sleep in this apartment on January 5th. Um, we were able to have time to go back to the other apartment, clean up, you know, like do like a little deep clean, patch up holes in the wall and stuff like that. So, um, we turned in our keys last Friday, which is bittersweet. Um, as, as many problems that the other apartment had, I got really sad towards the end when I realized like we weren't going to be there anymore. Like there was just so many memories. Like we had our outdoor cat Ziggy that would come upstairs and, and I would give him food every day. I'm going to miss him because now, you know, he's not there. He does get fed by all the other neighbors, but still. Um, and just like my routine there, like, you know, where everything was, the girls' room where they would sleep at night. You know, it's just like it was my first apartment. So many memories, my first apartment with Christian. So I'm definitely going to miss it, um, even though it did have a lot of cons um, instead of a lot of pros. But it was my first apartment regardless if, it had maintenance issues or whatever. I'm going to miss it so much. Um, but I'm slowly starting to get used to this apartment. Let me tell you, the first couple days, I was not, like, used to sleeping here. Like, we would leave our family's um, house and drive over here. And I was just, oh, there was just something in me that I was like, I miss the old place. Like, I, this doesn't feel like home yet. It's starting to feel like home a lot more now. Um, this is only, like, our second week or third week living here, I think. Or second week. I don't know. But it's starting to feel like home now, but it just takes a while to get used to, but I'm so happy we're here and I can't wait to show you guys the apartment tour. So I'm gonna stop blabbing and show you guys this apartment. Um, there's still a, little, a couple stuff that's missing in the apartment, but I couldn't wait anymore and you guys couldn't wait anymore. So let's get to the apartment tour. So right here's the door, right when you walk in, we have the little keychain holder where we have our mask as well. We keep so we can always have when we leave the house. And we got this off Amazon because in the other place, we did have a space for us to have like an entry table, but I just feel like it's too much here. So I thought this is like a space saver. It's super cute. So I liked it more. And yeah, we got it off Amazon. Right to the right is the guest bathroom, which I'll show you in a little. And to the left is the den, which is AKA Christian's lair, pretty high ceilings. 
And right here we have our bar cart, which fit perfectly. All of our alcohol, so cute. And here we definitely need some artwork, which we're gonna get. We have a storage closet, which I've actually never had in the other place. Um, that was one thing that was definitely missing. And in here we have like our broom, our Swiffer, our vacuum, Christian's golf clubs, like some tools up there that we keep. And luckily there's like a little charging port for my vacuum because it doesn't need it. And yeah, and then right here we definitely need, we want like a very uh, big rectangular but like thin type of mirror here. Um, this is the bench from our dining table because this area was meant to be where the dining table goes, but we took it as an extra room um, for Christian to have an office because his office in the other place was in our bedroom. Now that Christian works from home uh, full time because obviously because of COVID and stuff, his job has been remote and he didn't have a place to work in the other, as you guys remember, in the other makeup room, I had my makeup desk and his gaming desk. And if we had added this in the makeup room, it would have been too much stuff. So I'm like, you just need your own space to have like your gaming stuff. Like when you wanna come and just, you know, step away for a second and your own space like to work because it's just, especially working from home, like you need, you know, your space to be able to work from home, like your area, you know, because it just, it's so much to have your own space, especially when you're working from home, you know, and for it not to be complicated. And like, if he's here, you know, making calls all day and I'm filming in the glam room, it's just too much. So we needed separate spaces. So we just took the den and converted it into office. Basically we converted it into his office and also where he keeps his gaming desk, but we need to do a whole makeover in this room. It's not done at all. We have to get some artwork. We're going to get like a little thin table here. This is the dining, uh, the bench from our dining table. It's not gonna go here. Um, but luckily we were able to store our dining table in storage. Our dining table and our Christmas tree, which was great. So yeah, this is definitely a work in progress, this room. But I'm just so happy Christian has his own space, you know, to work. Sometimes it'd be 8 a.m. and I wasn't even up yet. And Christian would be like in meetings and stuff and Zoom calls in our room because his desk was in our room. So we're like in the new place, we'll take this extra space and make it into your office. And she loves his chair. Definitely need to get him a new chair because it's just isn't the vibe. And then right here we have two more walls that I need to get some paintings for. I definitely want to do one of our like wedding photos here, stuff like that. We might do like a very thin entry table here. We'll see, but everything's a work in progress, you guys. And then right here is the guest bathroom. It has like a little pocket door, which I love. See that? Oops. Sure, I've done that. <laughs> so yeah, this is the guest bathroom. I kept everything literally the same, you guys, as the old place. This is the shower. As you guys can see, this is the shower for any guest who comes to our house that needs to obviously take a shower. Um, and then right here is the sink. We have so much more storage under these sinks, you guys, compared to the other place. I maybe had like half of one door. And then there's so much crap under there, but basically all the cat stuff is here, their food, um, all their treats and stuff like that. Toilet paper, we just have so much more space here. Like I can literally live under there. And then we have this super pretty mirror with lots of light. The other lights in the other place was horrible. The water pressure in the other place was literally like just drops. It was like all fucked up and they couldn't fix it. How nice. Um, we have the cat's nightlight. I use this as a nightlight for them. Uh, we have here like the stuff for people to wash their hands, get tissues. It's just such a bigger space, super tall ceilings, and I love it. I love this bathroom so much. It's so nice, especially if I need to come in, like my makeup room is right here, which I'll show you, to wash my beauty blender or film any like skincare stuff. I can always do it right in here, which I love. And then leading into the glam room um, that I share with the kitties. <laughs> So right here, as you guys remember, we had the cat's litter, uh, which we keep inside of like this litter box, which is great. We got it off Chewy and I love it. They have little cameras, so I can watch them. Their little nightlight, um, the little frame, which we have, which I realized I did not clean well, so ignore. Their little food bowl, which I got off Amazon. And my little side chair, remember that? I'm gonna show you guys over there now. My desk, which I love, I got Christian's 
um, desk that we had ordered for him for the other room. He gave it to me because mine was literally a mess and I needed a new one. So he just gave me his. And like you guys remember, my desk, nothing new. I just have like my go-to makeup stuff in here. Like the stuff I literally use every single day. My makeup brushes, a candle, my mom got me. These beautiful flowers that my friend Gato got me for my birthday last year. And they're uh, like flowers that you can keep all year long because it's like pampas and it's like this dry type of flower, I think. So I love it here in the makeup room as like a nice touch of like girly. Some brushes. And then right here we have the girls tower. They're very large tower overlooking obviously outside because that's their favorite view and we have our sleeper couch here in case anyone ever stays over this pulls out as a bed the girls love to lay on it it's like an extra bed for them they love it um and yeah this is basically their area also all their scratch pads their little water fountain you know all that good stuff and then when you walk over here again this was like the entryway when you walk over here we have my makeup closet so, same as before, we just kind of put these two cabinets together this time, and this over here, I have some storage up there, which I love, I can keep my monitor, my bags, my lights, I will be getting to those boxes, I will not let it pile up, mark my words, we will unbox this. Um, so yeah, this is like all my makeup stuff, this is some skincare products I keep, uh, this is some, I guess, more skincare products, this is all like my hair tools. Um, some new products that were sent to me that I want to try out. My cameras, my mic, my laptops up there. Just all my stuff. We have my setting powders. All that good stuff. So the drawers are filled with makeup like always. <laughs> Nothing new here. The same makeup room, which I love. I love that it's here. And yeah, we just close the door. This is a door to go out, which I'll show you now. The living room. Say hi. Hi, baby. So you finish in the makeup room and slash the cat's room you just keep walking in the entryway and you get to our beautiful living space you guys oh my god this is like my favorite part of the kitchen the kitchen's for sure my favorite part i love the kitchen it's just so beautiful i love it i love that we have an island we got new bar stools which i'll link them down below we got them from rooms to go but they also sell them at target but they were sold out at target so i found them on rooms to go um we have an outlet here which is great because we can charge our phone or like cook up any kitchen appliance up here um and then in here we have our fridge you guys know i love like reorganizing my fridge i don't know how many times a day so this is the fridge which we didn't have a fridge like this before we had the other one that like the freezer's on top and the fridge is on the bottom so this is definitely new for us but we love it it's so much more space and then our freezer is just perfect, fits everything. We have our meats, we have like our frozen meals, our Amy's, our Trader Joe's mac and cheese, all the good stuff. And we actually have filtered water. We don't even need water bottles anymore because this fridge comes with like um, ice and I don't have to reach into the like, you know, like the fridge to get it with my hands. Everything's here, which I love. And then right here, probably one of my favorite spots ever, is the pantry. I got like a lazy Susan here. I think that's what it's called for like my beans and like my tomato paste and all that. We got all of our pastas here, our nuts back there. We got anything that's bread and chips, tortillas, popcorn back there, extra beer for Christian, um, our olive oils and like our vinegars and stuff. And then up here, another one of my favorite spots, we have up there we have christian's nuts quick because sometimes like once a month he gets like an urge to drink it don't know why <laughs> um nutella peanut butter some broth for my soups we have these super cute containers that i've always had remember you guys i've seen these my mom got me some more we have our rices like our quinoa our regular rice chia seeds chocolate chips um we have flour more sugar in the back um, brown sugar, my lentils back there. Here I just keep um, my Ziplogs and my aluminum foil. And basically nothing has changed. I love this basket, so cute. I got it from Target. We have our cookbooks and our little fruit basket. Uh, I just have way more space now. Like look, I even have space here. Um, I just have so much more space than I did before. Like a whole section for all of my plates. 
and like my seasoning section is just so much wider i love it so much i got these little things off amazon and you can just twirl them around and get your seasonings which i love and Christian's very excited because the sink is super large. We've never had a good sink in the other place. The water pressure was awful. It wasn't the ones that would come out like a hose. It wouldn't have like an option like to spray or anything. This one's amazing. So definitely Christian's so happy right now when he washes the dishes because he has a much bigger sink. We did have a dishwasher in the other place. We just keep our dishes in there and then we put them away, but this is our sink, very large. Christian's very happy now when he washes the dishes. I also got this off Amazon, and this is just your basic um, stove top and microwave. You guys know the drill, my little salt, pepper, olive oil. I got these really cute um, new like kitchen utensils, like wood kitchen utensils from Amazon. My knife, my Alexa. Um, we got a neat plant for the corner. The other one was really, really old. Oh, she thinks I'm talking to her. And our sugar and coffee. Now we have two coffee makers. Um, we actually, no, we actually had this one in the old place, but I don't think I ever shared it with you guys. Uh, we drink black coffee now, a lot of black coffee. We also love our Nespresso. We love both. But every morning we always have our black coffee. Sometimes I do it with ice. Sometimes I'll just drink straight black coffee. And this is the one we have. It's the Hamilton Beach. And it's amazing. Right before bed, we'll put like the powder and like the stuff in here and like program it to go off like at 8 30 a.m., let's say, so it can start brewing the coffee. So, like, once we're up, we brush our teeth, we make the bed and everything, the coffee's done, which I love. And Christian's Ember mug that he got for Christmas, his favorite thing in the world. He, oh, oops, he uses this thing every single day, keeps his coffee hot for like an hour and a half, keeps it warm, has like a setting for it to keep it warm, which I love. This little basket back here has all of our Nespresso pods. And then like some more stuff, our mugs. I keep most of like our Pete's coffee because we get the Pete's coffee for this machine um, in here, but we just ran out. So gotta get more. And you guys, best part, all the wine glasses are here. More glasses up there, beer glasses, martini glasses. It's just like amazing, I love it. And then down here, in the island, we also have some more cabinets. So as you can see, we have a lot of cabinets, you guys. Compared to our other place, it's insane how much storage I have, which I definitely needed. Another reason why we needed to get a new place. Down here, we have like our, basically all of our bulky appliances, our toaster, our rice cooker, our air fryer. We put these in the front because it's what we use the most. Um, our ninja and all that good stuff. And this is how our island looks. Right here, we have the washer dryer. I'll show you guys. And this washer dryer, another reason we had to get a new apartment, our washer dryer in the other place would just get covered. The inside would get covered in gunk, and like we called them so they can fix it. They didn't know how to fix it. And every time we wanted, anytime we needed to watch something, wash something bulky, like our bedding sheets, we had to drive to my mom's house so she can wash it in her big, like, washer and dryer wait for it to dry and then bring it back every single time we had to wash our big sheets it was so annoying the other day i washed our sheets in here for the first time there was no brown gunk stuff all over our sheets the washer was clean everything was great it washed great it didn't overfill like one time it overfilled when we washed our sheets the water was everywhere the dryer is amazing i'm just so happy and up here we just have some cleaning supplies we have um, our trash can, our detergent, our waters, um, our paper towels. So right here we have our beautiful mirror, which you guys know I always take all my pictures in. Once I saw this spot, I knew that this is where I wanted the mirror and my pampas. I love it so much. Such a pretty like touch to this area of the living room. And then in there is my makeup room, cat is sleeping. And then here's our living room. I love this living room so much, you guys. It's just so pretty and bright the windows are hurricane proof windows which i love and you guys know my couch is from city we just changed the plant here and got an olive tree because it's just more airy and nice i got it off etsy i'll link it down below and we've updated our coffee table um we have this delicious like it literally smells so good this amazing candle from hotel collection which smells like the one hotel we got this super cute bowl off target my beads from Kirkland, 
Um, some nice little coffee table books, some more coffee table books, more books. I got that from Target as well. That's from Target. Uh, I got that at Home Goods actually. And here we're probably gonna do like a really nice lamp. So yeah, basically everything stayed the same. Just I switched over a little bit of the decor pieces uh, for the coffee table, but everything's pretty much the same. Little birds were just, she's right there. Do you see a little bird? She's gonna jump now and eat here. I always have a bird feeder. The birds come and eat and the cats love it. They watch here and they talk to the birds. <laughs> Christian's ginormous TV. We got it mounted, of course. He loves that TV and it's just such a nice area to watch our movies. I love how high the ceilings are. We have really nice lights, a nice fan. Everything is just so nice, you guys. So this is the kitchen area again and then now we're gonna walk into our bedroom so this is our bedroom i love it again ceilings are really high here and nothing's pr nothing's changed honestly everything's the same except we just didn't mount this tv because we don't want to go through the hassle we were like we don't even need this tv mounted so we just kept it here and then we have our chair curtains that my dad put up for us and then our bed so we actually ended up putting our comforter away that matches the pillows and we just put like this very thin sheet on top because the cats always end up in our bed and it's just so annoying to watch that really bulky comforter that we never use so we just use this thin one and under that is the comforter we actually sleep with and our blanket our lamps our dresser everything is from city furniture the bed the side tables this all from city furniture including the mattress my air purifier, which I had from the old place because of the mold, but obviously I wasn't going to throw it away, so I kept it in here, and it's good for you anyways, whether you have mold or not, so I kept it here. And this is my side table, which you guys remember. And then now, we have like this little hallway here, and you go in, and this is the closet. So, so much bigger than what we had before, obviously. And so you walk in, it's a walk-in closet, have my stuff my bags um my blouses and like some sweaters this is all from here on it's all christian and some of my sweaters more of my sweaters <laughs> and the jeans and stuff christian shoes um thank god christian cleaned out some of his stuff because he has so much clothes and so much shoes so we were able to give some away that he never uses we have our camp it here I like to put our clothes our dirty clothes in and then all of my shoes so super spacious like literally Compared to what we had, you guys, I can't even compare. Like, it's just, it's so nice. I love it. I love it so much. And then, once you finish in there, you walk in here. This is probably my favorite part. Besides the kitchen, like, I love my bathroom, you guys. Like, this bathroom is, like, I've never, I had a tub that was painted on. The tile on the back was laminate. It was so rusty, so nasty. Like, we were dying to get out of there and just have, like, a good spacious shower oh, i love it so much this is what it looks like and yeah hello it's me um so we have of course a ton of cabinet space thank god this was like a big one for me because we needed the space i didn't have anywhere to put any of my skincare christian had like shelves built for me in the other place on the wall and i had all my skincare just shoved in under the sink and we barely had space so now I have so much space. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond and I was able to keep all my skincare stuff and I love it. It's so great. And then here I have all my hair care products, which if I just need any, I just pull it out. Um, but I have my basics in the front. We have our, we're not really big perfume people, so we don't have much. So this is it. My speaker, if I need it when I'm here getting ready or something. And then here we have just like our towels some other stuff christian's dude wipes <laughs> we have like extra stuff like if we run out of soap or like any extras that we need it's in here my contacts just some extra things i love it so much space the only thing we left out is just the stuff we use every day like christian's um everyman jack stuff deodorant this is like our toothpaste and toothbrush the sink in this area is just so large like the other place it was like from here to here it was so tiny um, and we also have a very large mirror and the lighting's really good in here. And then um, I just keep my literally the products I use every single day, which is just my cleanser I use every single day, day and night, and my deodorant. And then down here, we just have, guys, this is huge down here, like so big. 
Um, we just have our basic medicines, um, my contacts, like my hair dryer and stuff if I need it, toilet paper, Christian's contacts, Christian stuff is on this side. No, I am not pregnant, you guys. I just take, you know, precaution and always have it here in case I need it or if someone comes to my house and they need one. So don't assume I'm not pregnant. Uh, and then now here the shower, which is like literally my favorite part. It's so big, you guys. So large. Look at this, like so much space. Like we both can fit in here, which is great. And then we got this on, um, where did I get this? I got this at Home Goods, and I'm able to put like stuff that I don't use all the time down there. And then up here is just like our everyday stuff. So like my shampoo conditioner, his um, men's always have like this two in one. I don't know why they should have like shampoo and conditioner, but whatever. And then like his, you know, his soap, my soap our shower um there's another light in here we have like our scale there and i love it you guys it's so big definitely worth the wait you guys like the move and everything this place was so worth it i leave the bathroom again our master and that's it guys this is the apartment like i love it so much like i feel like i'm in a house sometimes from how large that kitchen is outside we just have our balcony with like our seats that you guys know we've always had. This used to be our old bar stools, but we kept them. So if guests do come over, we can put them on the sides of the island. Cause honestly, it's just me and Christian and we sit here on the island when we eat. We don't need a whole dining table right now. So we just kept those for guests and my little basil tree. We just hung up some, I don't know if you guys can see it. We just hung up some like string lights, I guess. So we have some light out here. Um, we're not planning on staying here forever, obviously. We do want to get a house soon. But we're just so happy we're here um, at the moment until we can get a house because the other place was just not it, guys. Maintenance and everything, it's just not it. Um, so we're just so happy and blessed that we were able to move. And, you know, my mom, my mother-in-law, my dad, so many people came and helped us with this move and um, helped us get situated and help us put up stuff. My mom and my mother-in-law literally helped me unbox so much, which was great. So we are so blessed for our family to have helped us through this process. And I definitely recommend if you're gonna move into a new apartment, like just be like anal about every little thing because if you're not anal about it through your walkthrough, then it's just gonna get worse. You know, it's just gonna get worse. And at least for only a year because throughout the year you start finding things you really, really, really don't like and then you're screwed because you lease for like three years. So we lease always for a year. Even this place, we lease it for a year. We love it so much, but we lease for a year because we don't know if we're gonna be in a house next year. So, um, but compared to the other place, we are in heaven. We love it so much and we're just so happy. You know, the cats are happy. It took a little bit for them to get used to it, but they are so happy. I'm not sure where Nala went. I think she hid because I started filming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support and I will see you guys on my next video.